Hey guys, so a lot of people have been asking, you know, what commands are available, how do I add commands, etc, etc. So I'm going to give you a quick review to how the application works so that you can be more able to change it. So this isn't the final application. If you read my post, I released it before I was able to finish everything, and this because I'm in finals week, which ends at the end of March. So hopefully then I'll be able to work on this a lot more and uh, get a lot more commands available, get plugins working better, and all that fun stuff. And basically just make it more polished, as well as having continuous mode. So let's give you a quick review to how the application works. So assuming you've already had it installed and set the hotkey, the first thing that runs when you hit the hotkey is hotkey. Whoops. Is that and that will pretty much only run hotkey switch that's what it does okay then hotkey switch will run this which records your voice with socks and the rec command from socks and then when you press it again it stops it and sends the speech to google and then sends it to get recognized so uh, right now this script is very hacky. However, I'll show you in the description that another person had made something that's similar to my application in that it um, gets stuff from Google and records your voice, but he can do it continuously. And his application is GPLv3, so what's going to happen is I'm going to combine his application and my application so that it's going to be able to record your voice continuously. It's going to be much better recording. Um, it, it's going to be better in every way as far as recording goes and then my application will handle plugins fuzzy recognition dictionaries etc etc alright so send speech really the only important line is this one this is the one that sends it to Google if you want to change your language you could change this right here so if someone changed it to Italian by changing this to IT you could look up your two letter code on Google and see what it is two letter language code all right, so next uh, we'll look at what a dictionary looks like. So it finds out what you have to run by going to your dictionary. In this case, it's going to go to main.dic. So here we can see all the commands that you could run. So for example, open documents will run this command, uh, as well as all these, and these are all the commands that are available to you. Dictation mode runs that, note to self runs that, status go to site runs this, runs the go to command, and etc, etc, etc. You'll notice that some of these are commented out like this one, because this is very much cheating, and what I want to do is I want to uh, ask Rhymebox your music library or some other media application and be able to do that from any name you give and play that. Um, and eventually that will be able to happen but so I've been working on how to do that so where are all these commands they are in bin so if we go to recognition bin we could see these are all the commands that are available to you some are very easy for example um, like type just that say is oh so easy and then some are a little bit more complicated or more like this one is but really to make a command all you need is to make a command that accepts an argument and put it in the bin and then it would work now really for putting it in this bin you should probably uh, make a plugin which I'll kinda go over where you could find info for that later but for now let's see how to add a custom command so there's two kinds of dictionaries you can use. There's dictionaries in modes, which you can see like what mode you're in. So if you're in dictation mode, you could do that. If you're in main mode, you could do that. But there's also your personal dictionary. And so if you want to add a command, I suggest you create one now. And you would do this by creating one in .usr.d, personal.dic. So create this, and you could say, um, I don't know. see about that do I have a personal dictionary 
Yes, you do. All right. And let's say you want to run like your own custom command, something more useful than that. So, for example, I made a script right here. So, uh, this one actually will tell me how big the README file is. Lines. How big the README file is. In this case, it's 66 lines. So, let's go ahead and run that. How big is the file? And then two spaces, one, two open the open command will work for this probably later there'll be a bash command or something and then the full path to your script so open my script dot bash and that'll run your script so how big is the file 66 lines and just to prove that it's working let's change the readme file here are some more lines. How big is the file? 71 lines. So, let me show you what my script looks like. As you can see, it's just a bash script. So, whatever you would want to do, you could create any script for whatever you want to do really quickly. Let's say CPU info something like that um, and if it's useful you should consider making a plugin and sharing it with other people and I'll go over what plugins are right now all right so you can see all the plugins you have installed with this install plugin dash L and here we could see all the plugins as well as the commands that it gives us so I could do say NFL scores all right, well, that's not working. Not all the plugins are working, but I'm not a sports person anyway. All right, but here's one plugin that is working. Where is San Jose? And it will open, yep, San Jose on Google Maps. And yay, I get to find out where San Jose is. All right, and you can see various other plugins there. So, I... Uh, if you want info for how to add a plugin, go in Doc. And you can see that there's two things here. There's dictionaries. And here is a guide to how to make dictionaries. So if you want to know simply how the dictionary stuff works, look in here. And it'll give you kind of a short guide to how to make your own commands and how to make them fuzzy, how to make them match multiple things to say, etc. like that. So I suggest you read that and you can figure out how to make whatever. And then for making plugins, go to plugins and read that stuff. And once you make a plugin, you'll have an .sp package, and you'll do install plugin dash i plugin .sp, and it'll put it into whatever dictionary it needs to be in, and it'll be able to be installed there, and you could remove it later. So that'll give do help. Yeah, you could do all that. So that'll be nice. You'll be able to share this plugin, and eventually there might even be a plugin repository. All right, so that's about it. You know where to where your plugins are. Most are in dictionary. Uh, you know that you could see some of them by seeing install plugin l. Right now, not everything's in a plugin, so some things you just have to go in recognition modes main .dic to actually see what commands you have. Since, for instance, like this or actually I just pointed to it, I'm an idiot. This is not in a, in a plugin, neither is this stuff. And as far as the commands that aren't working and the commands that aren't there, if you want to see the old commands, go in archive-old-main, and this is the exact same dictionary that I used during the, during the big uh, uh, demo thing. And you could see there's some cheating right here. However, I could show you that I'm not an actual cheater and that I do have something to answer questions which I made after so I will show you it so you could see that there's some commands here that don't work alright so let me show you the ask script really quick so if we go to bin we see ask and let's ask some question that I don't have program what is 3 times 7 for example okay and then I'll take a bit and boom, it gives me answers. 
So this script actually does this, where it's actually querying MIT start and Wolfram Alpha. Now, this is kind of using someone else's API, so probably don't use this everyone. Uh, I suggest that our own API is gotten, but it does work and it's able to be done. So there you go. So except for the MIT one, the MIT one anyone can use. All right. Um, so yeah, go ahead, make your own command, see how this works, do whatever you want with it, and feel free to read through all this. And if you have an idea for a command, go to GitHub, start an issue, and say, I want to be able to do this. And just keep telling me commands to add. And when I have time, after finals are done, I'm just going to go through them, and I'm going to add these commands. I'm going to make plugins for them. And they'll be in the default install. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. If you have any more questions, just ask me in the comments. Bye-bye.